This video demonstrates how to perform two-way ANOVA by using R. So the data set that we are going to use is the body height measurement of the student and we want to investigate if there is a significant difference between the student from three classes and between the male and female. So in this case, we have two factors. One is the class, another one is gender. And then for class, we have three variables, which is the class A, class B, and class C. And then for each class, we have 10 students, and five of them belong to male, and five of them belong to female. So the first thing we need to do is to load our data. So this is the walk-in directory where we keep our data set. We can just click run. And the next thing we need to read the data into the R. So first we need to make an object. Okay, so we name an object, class and gender. And then we just type read CSV. Put open and close quotation mark. Copy the file name, including the extension, and then paste into the script. Click run, and then click on the data that we have just loaded into the R and examine if this is a correct data. So when we want to perform two-way ANOVA, we would like to summarize the data. So it is good to examine the data set. So what we're going to do, we just type structure str, copy the object, which consists of the data, and then just click run. So now it shows that in this data set, we have four variables. Okay, one, two, three, four. And then for first variable, the data format is in the integer so it's a student id then the second variable is class and this is a factor consists of three labels so which is correct so this is a factor one two three a b c and we have another variable which is gender consists of two labels male and female and then we have the response variable which is the measurement of body height before performing the ANOVA we have to measure the variable okay, is in the format of factor. So you also can summarize the data. Okay, so you can type summary. Okay, the data. So this show you the some basic summary. Then the next step is to perform the assumption test for normality and homogeneity of variance. But before we do that, we have to split our data set into the several subset. So now we have a combination of two factors. One is class, another one is gender. So for example, for class A, we have the male and female. For class B, we also have male and female. For class C, we also have male and female. So in this case, altogether, we will have three times two combination of factor. So we have the class A, female, class A, male, class B, female, class B, male, class C, female, and class C, male. So we need to add another variable or a vector into the data set so that we can examine the normality for each of these sub-data for the combination of vector. So to do that, we need to create a vector so we can just write any name, yes, this is just temporary. So I can write combination factor is equal to, so I want to combine these two as a new factor. So we have the class A male, class A female. Okay. So I can type test. So this is one of the command to test the value. Then I need to select which value or string or character that I want to combine. So for this data set, I want to combine the 
class column so which is this one with gender column okay so what the script is going to do is just pass for the first one class a and female into a single string and make it as a new vector so if you click run and then just load the vector so this is how it look like so now we have the 30 uh, element in this vector and each of these is a combination of vector so the next thing that we need to do is just combine this into our data set so we're going to use a command c by column by okay so instead of overwrite this data i will just make a new object so this is with the class gender height and combine okay. use the command column by so i want to buy the data from the original data that i import into the r which is this one and then i want to add a column that's the reason why we use c c by which is this vector so i can just copy this Okay, remember to put a comma. So now I just combine this two data set. Okay, one is a vector, another one is data frame, and I add the vector as well, a new frame into the original data set. So I can just click run. So now I have a new data set, as you can see, which consists of five variable. So I can click on it. I have a new combination vector. So at the same time, we also can explore the new data I check the structure of the new data So as you can see now we have the combination of factor which has a 6 labels okay, So because 3 multiplied by 2, so we have 6 labels okay. So once this is ready, then we can perform the normality test so before that we need to subset the data okay as demonstrated before so you will need to subset according not to gender or class but the combination of factor so we need to create six subset of data from the original data set so what we can do we can just type for the first one class a female okay so we need to create a new sub data so we just type subset we're going to subset the data with the new combination of vector in this case you only want the class a and female so the factor that we want to subset is class so just type class is so that is double equal sign mean is so in this case is class a so we just put class A if you click run then you're going to create a data set only for the class A which consists of the 10 student but we want to create a data set according to the female so what we're going to do we can end so the second factor is gender is female so you can click run so we have created a new subset of data okay. so this is one way to do it or you can just make it shorter because we already have a new combination of factor so what we can do we can just put this one combination of factor is class a female
then create run. So you still have the send subset. So we keep doing this for the rest of the data. So you can just copy paste and then modify the script. So this one is mail. This one is mail. You can click run. And then check if this is correct. Yeah, this is correct. Then I can do for the rest of the two classes. So I can just copy, paste. So change the name of the object. So now that is class B. Let's continue doing this. Okay, so one is done. The next thing is we can already perform the normality test. So it's Shapiro test. Just copy the first one test and we want to test for the body height just click run okay and then set the result after that we can just copy the script because you want to run the same analysis just for different data set for mail we can just click run and we keep doing this for the rest of the sub data and can get all the results and then save them so after we have done the normality test and check the result of our data whether it is by lack assumption for normality then the next thing is to perform the homogeneity of variant test just load the library of car after that we have to type the command the event test We're going to use the new data set, okay, with the additional combination of factor. So we want to test the body height against the combination of factor. Just click run, then we have the result of the homogeneity of variant test. So once this is ready, then we can start to plot our data. Okay, so usually we can use post plot. So we want to plot the data. The body height against the class and gender so in this case they will plot the body height according to the class and gender so we you click run this is how the graph looks like so the data is divided into two groups so this is a female from three classes class a B, C, and this is a male from three classes A, B, C. Okay. So if you don't want to group the box block according to the gender, then we need to switch the order between these two factors. So you can copy this this grid or for the first box block, paste, and then we just change this to gender. And the next one is class. Okay. Then we can click run. So now you can see the data is grouped or the post plot is grouped according to the class. So this is class A, class B, and class C. For class A, you have a female, male, female, male student, female, male student. So you can use either of these post plot. So once you have done, then the next thing is to perform the ANOVA. But before that, we need to 
make an object so I can write an object to set the output of two-way ANOVA. So let's say I write two-way. So the ANOVA command is AOV, analysis of variance. So you want to test the differences in body height between the student from different gender and plus different class. So you can click run. So now we have the object set, two-way anomaly result, write a summary, put the output of the ANOVA analysis to where hit run so now we have the ANOVA result okay and we have two hypotheses one is whether you want to investigate if there is a significant difference in body height between gender and the second one is there a significant difference in the body height between the for the student between different classes so as you can see, the p of p value is smaller than 0 0.05. Then we reject a no hypothesis. So there is a significant difference between the gender and between the class. So occasionally we also want to check if there any interaction between the factor. So to do that, we're going to use a similar command. Okay. So we can just copy the script for the two-way ANOVA. And we want to save the output as a new object. So interaction. So the command is the same, AOV. We want to test the differences in body height between the gender and class. But in this case, we also want to know the interaction. So we replace the plus sign with the multiply sign. You can click run. After that, we just summarize the result for the ANOVA. Two-way ANOVA with the interactions. Just click run. So you can see this one is slightly different from what we had just now. Okay. So just now we only have two test the two hypotheses. Now we have three hypotheses. So there's still a significant difference in the gender, significant difference in terms of the uh, between the class and However, there is no interaction because you will not reject the no hypothesis. So there is no interaction between the two factors. So remember to save your script.